Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot. I am Clipper Guy. You've heard me say it before. Heads are curved, curved combs just make sense. We've used curved combs on stage, at shows, and at educational events for a variety of creative techniques. And a lot of these clipper cutters out there, you've enjoyed these curved combs. I know you have. Let's take a look at a little alternative opportunity to use curved combs on longer hair, on ladies' hair, and on what's called condensed cutting. Condensed cutting is the idea that rather than living in a world of tiny little partings and tiny little sections, especially for those of us that come from a more precision haircutting background, condensed cutting is about over direction, moving lots of hair to one place and cutting it all at the same time. You frequently see me do this on the top of the head when I do layering and rather than taking small sections, I'll bring lots of hair all the way up to the top and cut it. Well, we're gonna do some condensed cutting with our clipper curve comb. The key here is even and consistent hydration and spend the time on some even and consistent distribution. And let's see what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to use our curve comb here at the underside of the head to cut a diagonal forward oblique line in a single clipper swipe. We're going to take the hair, we're going to use our curve comb, heads are curved, curve combs make sense. Look how easy it is to comb and direct that hair. I'm going to do it on the other side here, you won't see it, but you've got to believe it because you saw it on your side. I'm going to comb and direct that hair, and I'm going to gather that hair at the nape of the neck in a low ponytail, in a low area, not really going to pony it, but I'm going to gather it low like this and spend the extra time, invest the extra time on really good, even and consistent distribution. If the hair is lapping over or laying over inconsistently or different on two sides, the end result is going to be a little bit off. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to set that clipper comb in at the occipital. Now notice I've got that hair sitting deep in the comb. I'll even use my finger to push it deep in there like that. And I'm going to grab my detachable blade clipper with a triple zero blade on it here. Triple zero is important. We'll talk about that in just a second. But make sure the hair is seated in the comb. And in one smooth swipe, we're going to follow the curved comb beneath and we're going to clipper it off. The reason we use a triple zero, anything bigger with wider teeth it's not going to cut and flow smooth, and anything smaller with shallower teeth isn't going to cut very well at all. The triple zero is perfect, and watch what we're going to do. It's going to be over pretty quick, but look how smoothly and cleanly it cuts. I just pause to push the hair back into the comb if it's coming out, and I'm going to cut right along that comb. Smooth, clean arc along the comb. Now, when I take that comb out, and I take my client, shake it out a little bit, we wouldn't do that to the real customer, look what we've ended up with here. We've got a nice diagonal forward line, balanced and symmetrical on both sides, and in the underneath or in the nape area we've got a slight stacked effect. Now we need to go in and polish this up a little bit because it is in fact a condensed cut, and there can be some irregularities or variations in it here. But talk about a really nice oblique line in one smooth cut with a clipper, that's the beauty of curved comb condensed cutting with our clippers. Curve combs are available online at clipperguide.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.